I'm a PharmD, I'm a pediatric pharmacist, I'm a professor of pediatrics, a pediatric researcher, and I think just a fun person who likes to be around awesome kids. When you come to a place like a children's hospital, there tends to be a pharmacist in every specialty. So we have pharmacists who round with the cardiac ICU team, we have pharmacists who round with transplant, we have pharmacists who round in oncology and hematology, in general medicine, pulmonology, pretty much every subspecialty aspect of healthcare has a pharmacist. So typically we have patients who are on, I'd say, an average of about 10 medications that could exceed 30 to 40 doses of scheduled medications every day. Fewer than a third of medications that are used in children have FDA labeling for use in, in patients less than 18. So what is very helpful about having a pediatric pharmacist involved is navigating literature and figuring out what details of medication use need to change in order to safely use a medication in that population. And even within the world of pediatric pharmacy, there's all kinds of opportunities to subspecialize in things like critical care or neonatology or transplant or cystic fibrosis. Really, if there's a disease state that requires medications for management, there's an opportunity for a pediatric pharmacist to be involved. Geriatric pharmacy is really uh, a lot of different ways to help take care of our older patients. We spend a lot of our time in this office on the phone with patients or their family members. We do see patients in person with providers or sometimes before or after that visit. All of that is to really help prevent patients from having complications of their drug therapies. So, you know, when you go to pharmacy school, you're probably thinking that you want to learn about what medications do. Our job here is to prevent harm from medications. And we spend a lot of our time helping our physicians manage those medications to prevent adverse drug events, drug-drug interactions, um, complications, and then re-hospitalization. Every day, I'm a drug detective, and it sounds super nerdy. When you are you know, digging through their medications, physically sometimes or on a list, other times, it's a challenge, and I feel like I use my problem-solving skills on a regular basis, and I'm really making a difference. The whole healthcare team can benefit from that.